As an athlete, there's nothing that can ruin your career more than being labeled a cheater. Being labeled a cheater doesn't just ruin your reputation, but it leaves a stain on your name that lasts forever. But do you know what's even worse to win the greatest to ever do it? The biggest name in your sport accuses you of being a cheater. And in an instant, the eyes of the entire community is on you. And this is exactly what happened to Hans Niemann in the biggest cheating scandal of modern times. Hans Niemann is the so-called bad boy of chess. He has made a name for himself over the past few years of his wild antics and his entertaining interviews. Game, so I haven't done that, so of course I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not going to recover because uh, like, it's not like uh, I should go for a, a walk and do some yoga to relax. It's like, no, the solution is to, to win and uh, I haven't done that yet. Portraying a zero Fs to give type of energy, disrespecting his opponents and acting out on streams and YouTube videos. Chess speaks for itself. And in September of 2022, he got the biggest opportunity of his life. He was matched up against his chess god himself, the world number one, Magnus Carlsen. But Hans came in as the lowest rated player of the tournament, so nobody was even paying any attention to him. Before the match was even played, everybody thought this was just gonna be another walk in the park for Magnus. But something happened that nobody was expecting. Magnus lost. He didn't just lose, he withdrew from the entire tournament. And Hans didn't let this moment go to waste. He took every chance he had to throw shots at Magnus. Insulting him in a post-match interview, saying Magnus should be embarrassed to lose to someone like him. He's just so demoralized because he's losing to such an idiot like me, you know? It's just... Uh... It must be embarrassing for the world champion to lose to me. Uh, the entire chess world was left scratching their heads. Why would Magnus withdraw from the tournament after just one loss? Something fishy was going on. And three weeks later, by some miracle, the two of them were paired up again. But this time, Magnus would resign after just one move. And immediately post a statement, accusing Hans Niemann of cheating. And saying that he refuses to play with cheaters or in tournaments that has cheaters in it. This would catapult chess into mainstream media's limelight and become not just the biggest cheating scandal in chess history, but the biggest cheating scandal of modern times. Everybody knew about and was talking about the butt plug chess scandal. Even my dad asked me some uncomfortable questions about this whole situation. The investigation started and even though no physical evidence was found that shows Hans Niemann cheated in the match against Magnus, chess.com, the biggest chess platform in the world did an investigation of their own and what they found was shocking because not only did Hans Niemann cheat but they confirmed over a hundred cases of him cheating some of which was cash prize events. Chase.com immediately banned Hans from their website and the global chess championship a tournament with a million dollar prize pool. In a statement regarding the ban, Chess.com said that there will always be concerns about how rampant his cheating was in prize events and that there is just too much at risk by allowing him to play. And there is almost just as much at risk if you don't hit that like button and sub to my channel. So the big question is, is Hans Niemann's career over? Or will he be able to redeem himself? Besides, investigations confirmed that even though he cheated, his rating is still above 2500, making him one of the best players in the world and almost at the level of Super Grandmaster. For someone who's just 19 years old, this scandal will make everything 10 times harder. And everybody knows how hard it is to become a top level chess player. Right now, Hans is pretty much blacklisted from all major chess events and only a few are allowing him to participate. And history shows there aren't a lot of people that's more hated than cheaters. And this wasn't just any cheating scandal, this was the mother of all cheating scandals. But the fact remains, he is still only 19 years old. He's not even fully an adult yet. So he still has a lot of time for his redemption arc. And if he's truly committed to chess and becoming the best chess player in the world, I believe he should be given a shot. I mean, he will forever be known as the guy who put a vibrator up his butt to cheat in chess. That is a title he will have to carry for the rest of his life. And in some ways, I think that's punishment enough. And now, click on this video, because most likely you don't know about classical chess being phased out and dying in the near future. Thanks for watching guys, bye!